One of the very handy things about Unity is that it comes with a built-in physics system that we can take advantage of for working in our own games. So to use it, we're going to go to our ball here. I'm going to switch back to our scene view. I'm going to zoom in on the ball just so we can see it a little bit better. And what we're going to do is apply a rigid body component to it. So I'm going to start typing in our search box, rigid body. So we got rigid body and rigid body 2D. And because we know we're working in 2D, we know we want to apply 2D rigid body to it. So basically what this does is make this object be able to move around within the world. So if I was to now go to the game view and hit play, we'll see our ball will drop down and it'll hit against the wall. But of course at the moment all it's doing is falling down and hitting against the wall and staying there. So let's make it so that our ball will actually bounce off the wall. To do that what we're going to do is go to our materials folder here we're going to right click and we're going to create a new um, physics material 2D down here. And we're going to call this, we'll just call this bouncy to keep it nice and simple. And all this will do is make it so that our ball will be able to bounce. So we're going to set it so that our friction will be zero and our bounciness, we'll set that to be one I think should be absolutely fine and that'll just mean that our ball will bounce as high as where it starts off roughly speaking it can be a little bit of a, a slight quirk within unity but we'll see it now in action and the way we can apply this to our ball is if we go to our ball in our hierarchy here we can see on our box, box collider there's a slot for material here so I'm going to click and drag our bouncy into our material slot there and then if we hit play we'll see that our ball We'll start to bounce just like that so there we go we got our ball kind of bouncing around you can see it's actually bouncing just a little bit higher than um where it starts off with which is actually kind of handy for our game because it, what it'll mean is that our ball will start to speed up a little bit as it bounces um but if you want it to bounce exactly uh, where it is I, I think it's around 0.97 I believe should get you relatively close to getting it bounced to exactly where it was you can see that's just a slightly bit too low actually um, but it's just a matter of kind of tweaking it around to see how you feel about it but we're going to stick with 0 and 1 for our friction and bounciness so now that we have our ball bouncing off the ground or sorry bouncing off the wall like that we can see it's working but of course when we actually want to play our game we don't want this ball just hitting against this wall here constantly and trying to basically bounce here even if it's bouncing against our paddles then what we'll find is our ball will just be kind of bouncing along like this which isn't what we want what we want it to be is kind of like more like classical pong and more kind of like uh, tennis although tennis doesn't really have walls at the side but we want our ball to be say flying off this guy and going bounce 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 and then behind the other person so we need to make sure that our ball isn't falling down and the way we do that is by going to our ball and then going to our rigid body and set the gravity scale to be zero. So now if we hit play we'll see that our ball isn't um, being affected by gravity anymore but that's absolutely fine. It's not moving around, but we know that we've now applied physics to it so that it will bounce off the walls whenever it does actually get some movement applied to it. So the next thing we're going to do is look at how can we actually get the ball moving within the world. 